Remembrance of things past is a benediction to those who remember. The dust of the past. The enduring language and religious utterings of our people. And their rich history are legacies that lay the solid foundation of our lives. Truly, a benediction as we look into the future. Rich in biodiversity and prehistory, Taban Cave Complex is located in the last frontier of the Philippines, the province of Palawan. Taban Cave Complex is part of the Lipuan Point Reservation in Quezon, Palawan. The reservation is a 138-acre land of rugged cliffs and deep slopes discovered by the late American archaeologist Dr. Robert Fox and his team from the National Museum in 1962. Nakita ko pa si Dr. Fox nung maliit ako at talagang isa ako sa mga tagahanga niya. At laging sunod ako ng sunod sa kanya pero hindi ko alam kung anong ginagawa niya. Yun pala, ito pala ang kanyang malaking contribution. Of the 218 caves found in Lipuan Point, only 38 caves were fully explored, which were found to have been used for habitation and burial sites by ancient people. A wealth of indigenous plants, animals, and numerous artifacts, such as stone tools, fossils, and earthenware, dating back 50,000 to 700 years ago, attest to a prehistoric culture that flourished during this period of human history. Because of its importance to Philippine heritage, the Philippine government declared Tabun Cave Complex as a museum reservation site by virtue of Presidential Proclamation No. 99 in 1972. The National Museum, Department of Tourism, National Commission for Culture and Arts, and the Philippine Tourism Authority in cooperation with the local government of Palawan, are working together to protect and preserve the environmental resources of these prehistoric sites. Talagang pinapasalamatan namin ang Diyos dahil dito sa natural at cultural heritage namin dito sa Palawan, lalong-lalo na ang Tabun Cave. Namulat ang aking kaisipan na talagang napakahalaga pala nitong Tabun Cave. At ito ay mayroong balance ecosystem na kung saan na isasalin ko sa mga estudyante ko sa pagtuturo ko ng sciences, lalo na ng biological sciences. Today, the Tabun Cave Complex offers several learning opportunities in an environment-friendly surrounding. It is the habitat of diverse flora and fauna, a wide intertidal zone, fish sanctuaries, and coral reefs. One of its major habitats is the marine environment. In the deeper areas of marine environment are algal communities and concentration of soft and hard corals, diverse species of jellyfishes, crustaceans, mollusks, and fish. The most common fish is the Moorish idol, which can easily be sighted because of its yellow-colored and shiny black bands on the body and long filamentous dorsal spine. The landscape of the Tabun Cave Complex is also dominated by forest. Karst forest has thin soil and the vegetation consists primarily of undersized trees. A community of small to medium-sized trees growing in the sandy soil can be seen at the beach forest. Along the beach forest are sturdy trunks and branches of many trees like the Bda, Botong, and Talisay, which protects the shoreline of the complex from strong waves. Situated on a flat terrain in the southwest portion of the complex is the cultivated area, part karst and part beech forest, cleared to give way to the coconut plantation. This area is known as Tawatawa. And on the shallow marine communities is an enchanting mangrove forest, primarily composed of plant plants adapted to salty soil, like bakawan, pedada, and pototan trees. With its rich natural resources, 
The complex is also a haven for rare and endemic animals. Encounters with butterflies, mollusks, crabs, reptiles, birds, and mammals are common in the forest. The Tabun Cave Complex also opens the window to more than 50,000 years of Philippine prehistory. Used as habitation and or burial sites in ancient times, the excavations done in 33 caves reveal a seamless web of priceless cultural materials. Of these caves, six are considered major cultural sites because of the artifacts found therein, namely Liang, Tabon, Diwata, Igang, Manunggul, and Tajau Caves. Liang, which means to rest in caves, used to be a refuge for fishermen, especially during stormy days. Measuring about 60 meters long and 17 meters wide, the cave serves as the entrance to the Tabon Cave Complex. The Tabon Cave, one of the biggest caves and to which the complex is popularly known, was named after a local bird known as Tabon, who regularly uses the cave as its nesting ground. The large ape chamber of Tabon constantly sunlit, an ideal place for habitation. One of the smallest caves in the complex, the Wata Cave was used as a burial site during the Middle Age. Numerous ritual earthenware vessels in varying forms and designs were found on the cave floor. This is why the cave was called Diwata for Pagdidiwata, meaning ritual. Like Diwata Cave, Igang Cave, one of the longest caves in the complex, was also used as a burial site. The term Igang is a Palawan word for white stone or limestone, the main component of caves. Inside a cave, a large portion of the floor is always wet due to the water seepage from the ceiling forming magnificent stalactites that hang from the roof and stalagmites that rise from the floor. The cave is also noted for the stense guano or the waste deposited by bats. Manungal Cave overlooks the Nakoda Bay on the western side of the complex. Manungul is a Palawan term for standing rock. In this cave, the famous Manungul jar, which appears on the 1,000 Philippine peso bill, was found. This is a secondary burial jar with a cover featuring two human figures that represent souls on the journey to the afterlife. One of the largest burial caves in the area was named Tejau because of the presence of some 500 burial jars on the cave floor. A meandering tunnel 94 meters in length, it is the only burial cave looking toward the interior valleys of the complex. Sabi ni Dr. Pak, nung nag-umpisa kami, sabi niya, yung lahat ng makitaan natin dito, ayan ay mga kasangkapan ng mga lulu ninyo. Dahil noong araw, wala pang ibang tao dito, kundi Palawan at Tagbanwa. Kaya dapat ingatan ninyo. Generally, the caves in the complex have a marvelous and remarkable limestone formation, which developed about 25 million years ago and have been part of the Filipino culture. The Tabon Cave Complex development team installed new amenities such as the jetty and boardwalk, limestone pathwalk, and picnic groves, among many others, to make the complex more accessible and enjoyable to visit, as we learn and appreciate its rich natural and cultural heritage. Important signages are also in place to ensure the safety of visitors and preservations of plants and animals in the complex. 
To preserve the reservation for future generation, visitors must observe the rules and regulations. No hunting, disturbing and handling of any animal. Destruction and removal of plants from their natural habitat are strictly prohibited. Destruction and collection of objects of natural beauty, such as corals and limestone, are not allowed. No damaging of trails. Removal of artifacts such as pot shards and stone tools and echo facts from caves is strictly prohibited. Altering, removing and defacing boundary marks or signs are prohibited. Animals not native to the reservation must not be introduced at any time. Picking and gathering of forest products are not allowed. No bringing and eating of food along the way. No littering. Visitors are likewise advised to wear shorts, jeans, jogging pants, t-shirts, aqua shoes or rubber beach sandals, and to bring hats, swimwear, caps, sunglasses, and small bags with flashlight, batteries, sunblock lotion, insect repellent, mineral water, and plastic bag. I am very proud of Tabon Cave Complex because I, I belong to this municipality. As a student, I want to encourage you to come to Tabon Cave Complex and learn about the flora and fauna of the complex and to learn something about our national heritage here and importance of natural resources found in the complex. A lot of people came to Quezon to visit the Tabon Caves. The caves before, sometimes disappointing for them because what they saw were only some holes in the ground as they said it in travel guides, not worth the whole trip. But since all the developments in the Tabon Caves at the site, more caves are open, like especially the Saran Caves, the ecotourism trails, that attracts more and more tourists who like nature and nature combined with archaeology. Ang desire ng puso ko ay talagang maipamulat sa mga estudyante yung napakayaman nating cultural at saka natural heritage. At dapat na maging proud din sila na isalin ito sa mga bisita natin at ipakita sa kanila ang tunay na kaugalian ng mga taga Quezon at ma-attract namin ang mga taga ibang bayan na dayuhin ang Tabon Caves. Both the National Museum and the Tabon Cave Complex Development Project seek to make Tabon Cave relevant and accessible to the community. Only with an appreciation, an understanding, and our constant involvement with this resource will we be able to appreciate its worth. And when we appreciate its worth, we will put our efforts behind its preservation. The Tabun Cave Complex is not only a site to behold, a haven for nature lovers, a scenery to admire, and a place to enjoy, but a welcome abode that helps us discover the grandeur of our past as we live in the present and prepare for the future. Tabon Cave is more than just a Philippine geographical icon. It is a rich repository of heritage that continues to define our culture, morals, and traditions. One that uplifts the human spirit and identifies the soul of the Filipino people today and in the generations to come.